In this video, we will discuss editing and doing makeup to a simple graph. We will consider multi-column UV base plot. And over here, the many columns are there. And now we will have to plot it. So the very common and easy practice, the drag and drop method. Let's here and drag this one to origin. It is here. Okay, let me first discuss the data. The data is that we are having the X column which is starting from 900 and then the Y column which is this value. The legends are given over here. But if I note that this column should be another X column, but it is a Y column. And I will have to make this column is an X column. Now, if we will have a situation in which the X column will be the same for all of them, then we can keep one X column and just remove the other X column. But here we see that the x column for this one is different than this one similarly the other one as well so what we will do we will take individual x column for all of them press ctrl and select these x columns right click go to make it as x so we are now having x1 and then y1 x2, y2, x3, y3 and so on. So all are having their respective columns. Now what we will do, we will we will select these and let's say I plot them and they are here. As I have earlier told you that is um, bug in this software it is taking two legend is extra so we will have to remove them similarly i will take another one as well and this one is a line plot and it is here again and so let me remove these and it's okay Okay, now we are having graph 1 and graph. Now we are having graph 1 and graph 2. And you see here that our this plot is starting from 300 to 900. And this one is starting from 200 to 1600. So what I do, I just select the scale for this one and the y scale i keep like this while the x scale i keep like this one date it is uh, from 300 to let's say i keep 800 only so from 300 to 800 the x scale 300 to 800 okay now the plot is fine if i want to have the same scale here as well so one way is the manual way to do this thing by uh, selecting this one selecting the x scale and then the y scale because the y scale here is different than this one the x is different if i decide that um, the x scale and the y scale i will keep the same for this plot as well and other as well then there is another option as well which will select the things automatically and this is copy format and here is scales if i copy this one then i select this one first with one click and then right click and i say paste format so you see that the scales I selected here are actually copied here as well. So this way I will save some time. Similarly, if I make this one 
is let's say I select the short dots for this one and my profile is like this and I want to apply them here as well then I just select this one and right click and copy and I say to this one that on style formats because this is a style and I come here and I right click and paste format and you can see that it has taken this style over here as well similarly if I will have the situation for example I change this plot back to the original by pressing ctrl Z then you can see that it has gone back to one's original and then another ctrl Z it is the initial plot here now if even I make here for example hmm, I do like this that I select this one and I double click and I have a box around this one so now this plot is completely different from this plot but if I select it this will be my final style so I right click on this one and I copy format and the format I select all and now I come here select this one and right click and face format you can see that it has changed the scale it has changed the style and it has changed the legend look to that one as well so this way we can design one plot and then we can apply very easily on other plots so this was one of the short makeup or editing of the plot now let's come to the actual plot now our actual plot is that we will have to select all these and we will plot them okay the legends are already here and let me plot this one is a line plot now my plot is like this so in this plot i will have to do some makeup and before doing the makeup let me generate another plot means this is graph one and i will generate another plot which will be graph two and then um, when i will finalize this one i will compare it with the earlier version that which one look better so another plot now i am editing graph two okay from here i just drag it here first and i don't require any box around it now let's see that if i select from 300 to 800 so let's change the x-axis first and here it is we will do changes we will apply them and finally when we are done we will select ok 300 to 800 apply so all our plots have gone here and now is some this one is present so let me select the scale 250 so i will not miss some portion of this one now you see i don't want to have the data after this point for example as it goes there so in order to find out this exact value i will have to take this tool which is called the data reader this tool can also work here which is the screen reader but there is always an error of one or two point in this one so we will take the data reader take the data reader and just put it here on this value the red one i want to select or if i select here then it is 301 and similarly i can do this data is 286 this one is 290 okay it is selecting 282 so it means this data is around 280 so if i start with 280 then it will be it will have a better look so let's start 
width 280 select the scale and start with 280 and apply now it's fine but it is not very good for the bleak because it seemed very odd here so we will have to move to 290 and apply it's better to have 295 and now the data is comparatively good okay now we will go to the y-axis if i look at the y-axis then this is one and this is 1.5 so i think one is good so i start from zero to one and let's see how it looks and it is like this so i think it is much better than the other okay if i select uh, blot here now over here I will have to uh, put some more values here like the increment is 200 I will make this 200 and here the increment is 0.5 so I will make it let's say 0.2 and I applied it now it's look decent Okay, now here, what else I can change in this one? The plot seems to be reasonable. But if, for example, I don't want to produce a color image when it is not required, then I will have to change the colors as well, like a black and white image. Okay here this one i can just drag here and then it will be a bit more separated now as you see that what i wanted i wanted to increase the spacing between them but when i drag here then it increased the size as well which is not very decent because it is more than the size here so what i do i just move to that size almost and then i go to the legend and i do some editing here and i select them and it says line spacing so what kind of spacing it will be it is five and apply so it is like this 10 apply so it means 20 will work okay even i can uh, increase this one from 20 to 30 and do apply and it's reasonable even 40 will work so apply and it's good now so they are well separated now their font is the same but their spacing has changed so i click ok and now in order to select some uh, colors means make them black and white if i select this one then you see that all have been selected so the actions that I want to do on all I will have to do first and then I will ungroup them like for example I want to make their width is 5 then I have done them 5 all have changed to a 5 width so such actions I will have to do first in order to avoid any you can say we doing the things now I select and I plot them, I just ungroup them and now they are ungrouped. When I select one then they, the other are not selected. Okay, I double click this one and then I come here. I can do the changes here like straight, the style, the width, the color and all this. 
and then i will select the next one and i will do the change next one and i will do the change normally it is very easy to do from here like click this one select its color it's black and here let's say i select a dot for this one so dot have been done here now the next one is the green the red one and the red i click and i select that let's say this one to be black as well and now i select dash for this one so it has been converted to dash similarly here i select now the green and the green is selected make it black and then i go and i select the short dot i can select this one and make them black and then the short dash and dot similarly the other one so over here i have selected the various styles for this one now it seems uh black and white and it can be uh, ready for any sort of publication this is optical density or between units so i think the things are fine i can just change the width and all these things i have discussed in other values and now we can compare it with our other figure which was the graph one so graph one is like this and graph two is like this so we change this one from this now let's say i just means we once we selected one figure we can open that figure and we can go to copy format and all and we just come here and we paste this format and it is the scales are done instead of this thing so i just go right click and copy format and i just say our style formats let's see whether it works okay the reason for this one that these are group so i will have to first make them ungroup and now i select copy and all and now come here and paste format and they are done so once i decide my figure that this is the figure which i will just you can say apply on uh, all sort of you can say the uvs figures or ftir figures then i can just copy the means even if it's another um, origin file i will copy format and then i will come here and i will paste this format the only thing that i will have to take care i will have to ungroup these files first and then i will apply and it will work so this one we did with lots of effort and this one with just one click so we have already designed this one now if i design another figure and i just want to have it this format i just copy this one and i just paste here 